हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वन मोर टाइम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर नीलेज एडवाइस देर आर मेनी केसेस ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंजा इन्फेक्शन इन द चिल्ड्रन इट्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द यूएसए यूके इंडिया यूएई एवरीवेयर देर आर लॉट ऑफ केसेज ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंजा इन्फेक्शन इन द चिल्ड्रन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस हाउ इट इज what kind of the structure this virus has whether it is really dangerous what about the symptoms of the influenza infections what about the treatment of the influenza infections how we diagnose influenza infections all those things we are going to discuss today in this video so this video mainly dedicated to influenza respiratory infection almost all the informations related to the influenza infections i am going to give in this video regarding influenza vaccine i have already prepared one video because influenza vaccine we have to give prior the influenza season start so on an average influenza season starts from september onwards so at that time the influenza updated vaccine will come into the market and we doctors recommend to give to the, uh, give the influenza vaccine to the high risk individuals specifically the children uh, elder age people pregnancy all those things so that video if you have not watched you can watch that video on my channel that influenza vaccination in 2022 how to give when to give everything i have described about the influenza vaccination in that video prior to start the actual video i want to emphasize that this channel is not for any monetary gain uh, this is kind of the not for profit uh, youtube channel and whatever earnings is there is going to get utilized for the underprivileged children and the children who are in need of the funds so you can subscribe the channel and you can share the videos to the other parents so they also can get educated about the pediatric illnesses and how to treat the pediatric illnesses and the basic information which they require to bring up the child to make the child the normal healthy individual thank you friends influenza infection is very common in the pediatric age group and in the pediatric age group it can cause severe kind of the illnesses they can cause lot of complication in the children that's why for the influenza pediatric age group is considered as a high risk age group specifically up to the 5 years of the age group is considered as a very high risk age group for the influenza infections so now what is influenza virus so influenza is basically one of the viruses which is affecting the respiratory system so it is a small virus uh, which has the various types and subtypes it spreads through the air through the contact uh, by the like the somebody is infected with the influenza virus and if he sneezes cough and if somebody comes in the contact then he can also acquire the influenza infection so exactly almost all the respiratory virus is spread through the either air or with the contact we have seen in the covid infections that to protect the us from the covid infection we were wearing the mask why we were wearing the mask because we are stopping the transmission of the covid infection into the our body by wearing the mask so same way so almost all the respiratory viruses whether it is the influenza virus covid virus para influenza virus rhino virus meta pneumo virus is all these are the respiratory viruses which is can be easily prevented by the mask but obviously it is not feasible to wear the mask throughout the year so that's why children keeps on getting infections of the influenza by getting comes into the contact uh with the sick children who is already infected with the influenza now influenza virus is spread through the air but are there various types of the influenza yes there are various types of the influenza and broadly it is getting classified into the a b c and d so a and b type of the influenza virus is causing 
more infections usually they cause the infection into the humans and those are the little bit more moderate to severe type of the infection type c influenza doesn't cause that much that much severe illness in humans there might be some running nose cough and the person will become fine type d is almost doesn't cause infection into the humans it causes the more infection mainly in the animals so our focus is mainly on the type a influenza and type b influenza because a and b are the severe form of the influenza infections now to make the things more complicated type a also has various subtypes and type b also has a various subtypes so if you have heard the name like the h1n1 which was a swine flu influenza you might be aware that influenza pandemic 2009 in the 2009 influenza influenza was spreaded just like how the covid spreaded but the severity was severity was little bit lesser than the covid that's why it was it didn't came in that much limelight so what is this h1 and n1 what is h and what is n stands for so influenza type a is like the small virus and they have the spikes spikes means they have they are their receptors or you can say it is the anchor so whenever influenza want to enter into the human body they will first travel through the nose and this h and n are their receptors that receptors their anchors bind with our nasal cavity or the our airway and by this h and n they transfer through the our body and they will start causing the infection so there are various numbers of the h and various number of n so around number 18 from 1 to 18 so h1 to h18 n1 to n18 so there are various combination like h1 n1 h3 n2 h1 n18 so that become one more subtypes so suppose i am getting infected with h1 n1 now i might get infected again Uh, in the future by h3 n2 or maybe h2 n9 n17 so there are almost around 130 130 type of the influenza a only influenza a influenza b subtypes are also there influenza c and d relatively there are no subtypes but influenza doesn't cause infection to the human influenza c causes a minor illness in the human so we are not much interested in c and d but influenza a h and n so there are various types of the influenza a which can affect the children so suppose uh, the child is getting infected with one type of the influenza a he has still the risk of getting infected with the other type of the influenza a so, what type of the illness influenza viruses can cause influenza mainly cause the illnesses which are related to the respiratory system so very high grade fever like the 39 40 degree temperature headache body ache uh, pain while the swallowing or a throat pain watering of the eyes generally the children gets uh, vomiting also because most of the illnesses in the children causes the vomiting and influenza is also prone to cause the vomiting certain type of the influenza a virus uh, can cause the affection of the brain and the children might get seizure also and the children with the high grade fever they can got the seizure known as a febrile seizure uh, for the febrile seizure also i have prepared one full video you can uh, watch that video uh, how to tackle febrile seizure at home how to um treat the fever at home for that also i have prepared two three videos all those videos are useful to the parents so you can go and watch those video on my youtube channel now regarding suppose if you get the influenza infection now how to treat so most of the influenza infection can be treated easily with just maintaining the good hydration and taking the symptomatic medications like the for the fever you take the medicine for the fever for cough and cold you take some antihistamines some nasal spray 
but in certain high risk situation we advise to give the antiviral medicine so influenza is virus so you will have a antiviral medicine known as tamiflu so commonly this medication is used uh, tamiflu to treat the influenza infection in the children at present uh, at many places it is available as a, in a syrup form and at some places it is not available in the syrup form so we are using the capsule form to treat the influenza infection in the children now this tamiflu is a really really bitter medication and it causes vomiting in the children so that's why tamiflu is always advised to use by putting the medicine into the fruit juice don't give on the empty stomach otherwise child will have a number of vomiting the problem is influenza also cause the vomiting and the medicine of the influenza also cause the vomiting so we have to use it carefully uh, we have to dilute the medicine into the fruit juice then and then we can give to the children now regarding protection from the influenza it is easy wearing the mask yes wearing the mask will reduce the transmission of infection so from one person to the another person the transmission will be get reduced so we are basically breaking the chain of the transmission so wearing the mask is one of the effective way to get protected from the influenza infection frequent hand washing is very important because many time we touch uh the secretions of the persons and by knowingly or unknowingly we touch our body parts and the infection get transmitted hydration is very important take more water liquid soup juice all those things are very important to maintain the good hydration and the last thing is the influenza vaccinations so influenza vaccination is available almost everywhere Uh, but many time there are some of the rumors or the wrong information or the misinformation to the parents that it is better to develop the natural immunity rather than giving the immunity from the vaccines choice is up to the parents because this is not as a part of the compulsory vaccination in some of the countries it is a part of the compulsory vaccination but most of the countries it is not a part of the compulsory vaccinations so influenza vaccine when uh, when we have to give to the child for the first time like if the child is less than 8 year old and if we have to give the first time then it is a two dose vaccine and we have to keep the gap of one month between two dose after that every year in the september or october month before the flu season start we have to vaccinate the child as influenza virus changes its shape and structure frequently like you might have seen with the covid infection also that there are various variants like the delta variants omicron variants the same way the influenza virus also changes their structure regularly that's why every year influenza vaccine is a new vaccine or the updated vaccine and how this vaccine is getting prepared because the the cd cdc the cdc usa monitor the influenza virus activity throughout the year in the various part of the world and they Uh, they come to a conclusion that maybe this type this strain will be more prevalent into the next influenza season and based on that influenza vaccine is getting prepared and given to all over the world now you might be also surprised to know that influenza vaccine is different for the northern hemisphere of the earth and the southern hemisphere of the earth so the countries who are in the southern hemisphere has a different vaccines countries who are in the northern hemisphere has a different vaccine so it is always to get checked with your doctor that which vaccine your child needs so i hope i have covered uh, most of the things related with the influenza infections influenza virus itself why there are various subtypes and why the children get infected multiple times why we have to take the vaccine every year uh, what are the effects of the vaccines and yeah i didn't told you about the side effects of the vaccination most of the children tolerates well the influenza vaccination but in some of the children there can be a high grade fever and same like the influenza symptoms like the running nose cough cold can be there some children develop the pain at the injection site very rarely very rarely some of the children might get some illness known as gullian berry syndrome but that is also very very less 
so now i think i have completed everything about the influenza vaccine if you like this video you can share the with your friends family friends colleagues mainly with the parents of the younger children who can get benefited from this video and if you are first time on my youtube channel subscribe as well thank you very much